If you need to test audio cables, the main way to do it is using a DMM to check the continuity of the connections from one end of the cable to the other. There are also continuity testers out there that can do the job. There are even specialized cable testers for audio cables. But spending from about $10 to $400 just to test your cables seems a bit much. I am going to show you how to make your own continuity tester for about $1.50. The parts you will need for this are cheap. Many of the dollar stores and Amazon.com have them. All you need is a LED push light. You can even use a LED flashlight. But for this video I am going to use a LED self-adhesive push lights that I got from a dollar store near me for a dollar. There are many colors to choose from as well. Next you will need two pieces of wires. I used an old pair of test leads. You can get them at a flea market cheap as well. I paid 50 cents for this pair of old DMM test leads. This is what it will end up looking like. You can use it for checking anything for continuity. But it will need three AAA batteries. Okay, so let's start. Open your new LED push light. Now take the battery cover off the back of the light. It twists down lift off. Inside you will see the space for the three AAA batteries. Next you will have to remove the battery holder. It has three plastic clips or tabs holding it in place. I used a small screwdriver to pry it open. Once open you will see the circuit board inside. It also is covered with the clear lens and the silver reflector for the LEDs. In the center of the circuit board you will see the push button switch. You will need to desolder this switch. To get to the solder points that you will need to desolder, lift the circuit board up and remove it from the battery holder. It will still have two wires connected to the battery holder. Do not remove them. On the back side of the circuit board you will have to desolder 4 points total. You can use a desolder wick or desoldering pump to make it easier. Once you have desoldered the switch you can pull it off the circuit board from the top side. You will not need this switch anymore, so it's your choice to keep it or toss it. Now take your two wires or in my case old test leads and cut off the banana plugs on both the red and black lead. On the side of the cover for your light, either drill or cut two holes for your test leads. Make the holes just big enough that the wire is snug. Now take the two wires and run them trough the holes you made on the side of the light cover. Once done, you can strip off about one eighth of an inch of insulation off each wire. Take the two wires ends and solder them onto the circuit board using the holes where the switch went. You can put them through the top side of the circuit board and solder them on the back side. Make sure they are not on the same trace. Once done with the soldering, place the circuit board back on the battery holder. Also put both wires leads towards the same side. Place the LED reflector back on the LEDs. Start pulling the cover over the two wires. You're going to have to realign the tabs that hold the cover in place. Pull on the test lead wires lightly and line the tabs of the cover onto the battery holder. Push down on the battery holder till it clicks in place. Now place three AAA batteries in the battery holder. Make sure the polarity is correct on the batteries. Place the battery cover back on. You have completed your continuity tester, and it only cost you a couple of bucks. If you touch the two test leads to each other the LEDs will light. And you can see how we can check to see if this 1 8 TRS cable is good or bad. If tip to tip, ring to ring, and sleeve to sleeve all test out good you have a good cable. If not you have a open or bad cable. You should also check for shorts in the cable as well test tip to ring, tip to sleeve, and ring to sleeve this will ensure you have a good cable. So there you have it, a cheap audio cables continuity tester you can build yourself, and only for a few dollars. I hope this helps you out, and you enjoyed the presentation. I plan on making many more helpful videos and sharing my 30 years experience in both audio engineering and the electronics repair fields. 
Please subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and click liked, sharing the knowledge. If you have any questions feel free to ask. Noisy Art has left the building.